In this video, you will learn how to schedule presentations and how to create both basic schedules as well as recurring schedules. To begin, log into your channel. From the dashboard, click the Schedules tab at the top of the page. Inside the Schedules tab, you will notice the calendar on the left hand side of the page. By default, the calendar will display Month View. You can click on the Week or Day buttons to change it to those corresponding views. The Now Playing Preview pane is shown on the upper right hand side of the page. When a presentation is scheduled, the preview will display a thumbnail of said presentation. Beneath the Now Playing preview is the My Schedules list, which displays all of the existing schedules you have created. Click the New Schedule button or click any day in the Month calendar view. This will open the New Schedule Options window. The Presentation field determines which presentation will be scheduled to display. The Start field sets the date and time for the schedule to start. The End field sets the date and time for the schedule to end. The Name field sets the name and color code for the schedule. The Repeat checkbox will turn the schedule into a recurring schedule, meaning that it will repeatedly show the same presentation at the scheduled time with a selected interval. The Every field selects the number for the interval, and the drop-down selects the unit of time. Whenever the Repeat checkbox is filled, the Expires field will become visible. This option sets the date and time in which the schedule will become discontinued. The Time Zone field sets the time zone for the scheduled presentation. Time zone options include both the current time zone as well as the time zone that the device displaying the content is in. As an example, say you're managing the schedule for a presentation in Central Time. However, the content is displayed on a device in Eastern Time. In this case, your schedule will need to use the Use Device Time Zone option. Otherwise, the scheduled content will be an hour behind. Once you've finished, click on the Create button to create the new schedule. Notice that the schedule now shows up in the calendar view as well as in the My Schedules list. To edit an existing schedule, click on the schedule in the calendar view or click Edit next to the schedule under My Schedules. Click Update when you are finished editing. Note that only one presentation can be scheduled at a time. If you create a schedule that overlaps with an existing schedule, or a schedule that recurs sooner than the first instance ends, you will be presented with an error message, and your schedule will not be applied.